we all have the power to make a difference. So, why don't we? If we all have the power and capacity to make a positive impact in the lives of others, why don't we? What's holding us back? Many of us feel that we can't affect change, that we're too busy, we don't have the skills. Many of us feel that making a change, making a difference is something other people do, not us. Now I understand those feelings because I've felt them too. Most people do. I'm here to challenge you to find something you believe in, something you value, something you care passionately about and take it on. Make a difference. Now, raise your hand if you know where you were at Christmas time. This year, I'm not going to point anybody out, so don't feel nervous. Okay, and if you know where you were for your last birthday. Beautiful, mine's 13th of August last year, so a long time ago. Um, now, raise your hand if you know where you were and what you were doing at 9.30pm on Saturday, the 1st of February, 2014. Or a couple there, is <laughs> that didn't quite go to plan. Well, um, I know exactly where I was and what I was doing at 9.30pm on Saturday, the 1st of February 2014. I was in bed reading a book called The New Manhood, which is about the role that men play as mentors, leaders and contributors in our society. When I had an epiphany, I had come to the notion that I wanted to do more with my life. I wanted to do something that made a positive impact in the community. Now, I didn't know that exact point of time, what that looked like, but I knew that I had to do it. Now, that epiphany didn't come from nowhere. The book, in fact, was my last step in my journey to making a difference. I'd attended a life course in Melbourne uh, six months earlier, and it was three days about contemplating self. Now, I emerged from the course not only uh, being more aware of myself, but also community. I come from a long line of uh, community leaders and contributors in various forms. Giving back and contributing is in my family values. I give 110% of everything I do. I do charity auctions, I give blood, I donate to a child in a developing country, but all that seemed insignificant. It was time to make a bigger difference. So the influence of my family, the book, and of the course, all led to an irresistible call to action. So there I was, 9.30 at night, first of every book. And um, an ordinary guy, a father, a husband, and I was struck with this grand idea. So I got out of bed, raced to the dining room, sat down, penned a bit of paper, and I thought, okay, how can I make a difference to others? Mm, fundraiser. <laughs> Nailed it, I'm gonna do a fundraiser. Fundraiser bit, great. Fundraiser, okay, I'm gonna raise $50,000, $50,000, that'll make a difference, but to whom? Now, sport has always been a very important part in my life. As a child, as a kid rather, I um, was not good at school, I was quite hopeless actually, but I was good at sport. It was an arena that I naturally excelled and uh, kids need that. As a teenager, I uh, switched schools a couple of times, so my social circles changed and my friendships wavered, but it was through sport that I made new connections and new friendships. So sport had an important role in my life and I thought, okay, it could be through sport that I could make this difference. Now, I've had an association with an organisation called Total Recreation, oops, sort of wrong there, um, who do work in the community with people with disabilities uh, through, and they encourage them to get involved in the community through sporting and recreational activities. Uh, I've been doing, a, um, doing charity auctions for them for seven years at their Dancing with Celebrities Ball. And not only did I enjoy working with them, but we shared the same belief and values in sport and recreation. And they needed funds. So I found my poo. Right. At 6.30am the following morning, which was 2nd of February 2014, uh, the wheels were in motion for a 300 kilometre cycle event from Catherine to Darwin and the Catherine de Darwin Challenge was born. Great, I thought of my event, here we go. Six, seven in the morning, dead time went there. Anyway, so um, now I had to work out how to organise a charity bike ride, <laughs> okay. 
Um, so and that proved to be a challenge in itself. The making of the Catherine Darwin challenge took me completely out of my comfort zone. I had to find myself completing tasks and doing things that I had no previous experience in doing. To promote the event and to get riders on board, I had to prepare flyers, had to do uh, social media uh, releases, media releases, chat with uh, radio, ABC. I had to prepare a risk assessment, traffic management plans, talk to the NT police, Department of Transport, Department of Infrastructure, the list went on, and all these things I had no prior experience of. In fact, before thinking of the event, I never even owned a road bike before, <laughs> let alone rode one, and I'd uh, never got around, wrong direction, in public wearing lycra before. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, next slide. Okay. So, just five days out from our first event, we had all the hurdles we overcame all the hurdles and uh, on the 24th of June 2014, 19 riders hit the road. Yes. Great. Two years later, we now have 30 riders and we have raised over $140,000. Yeah. Uh, these funds have gone towards sporting equipment uh, for school sports programs. It's helped the Territory team go away for national championships and international events and also helping with costs that come associated with money in a non-for-profit organisation. Also the NC 10 uh, Pin Bowling team has just come back from Melbourne and they won the National Championship, Disabled Championships in, in Melbourne, which is fantastic. Now, it hasn't just been total recreation that have benefited from the K2DC, which is the Catholic Arm Challenge. Amelia Earhart is quoted to as saying that a single act of kindness throws roots in all directions. And those roots spring up to make new trees. Now this has certainly been my experience from the K2DC. Many of our riders, who like myself are new to road cycling, are now avid cyclists. Many have taken a life, life transformation from the ride, and one has shed over 20 kilograms. A new community has been established, and firm friendships have been made. On Fridays we have get-togethers, there are weekly rides, we have birthday parties. In fact, two riders that met on the ride in that first year are now engaged to be married. <laughs> so there are other fundraising and uh, social uh, community events rather that have sprouted from the Catherine the Darwin Challenge. Uh, two of our riders have set up the inaugural Surf to Turf Fun Run, which is uh, had 71 partic uh, participants that uh, did a two, five or 10 kilometre run across the Nightly foreshore on a Friday evening as a fundraising event. One of the K2DC support crew, my brother-in-law, uh, created and established, conceived the idea of the recent Spectrum Photography Exhibition, which had 11 territory youth raising awareness and acceptance for autism. Mm -hmm. I think that was on there, actually. Yeah, there's my slide. There we go. <laughs> OK. Um, so two and a half years after that late night epiphany, the event that I created, I told my wife I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> the event I created raised $140,000 to support people who are less, or have greater challenges in their life than me. Just one person, one idea, and around it. I've recently been um, enlightened by a story that you may have heard before. One day a man was walking along the beach. I'm going to pick that back again because I like that slide better. A man was walking along the beach and he saw a boy picking something up and gently throwing it into the surf. So he approached the boy and said, what are you doing? And the boy said, the starfish are dying, the, the surf is up and the tide's going out. If I don't throw them back in, they're all going to die. The man said, son, there are miles and miles of beach and there are hundreds of starfish. You are not going to make a difference. Politely, the boy listened to the man, he bent down, he picked up another starfish and he threw it into the ocean. And smiling at the man, he said, I made a difference to that one. Don't be overwhelmed. Don't see the entire length of every beach. 
See the starfish next to you and make a difference to them. Find something you believe in, you value, you care passionately about, and take it on. You can make a difference.